Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been quite some time. This is going to be definitely a major life update. I feel like, I feel horrible because I feel like every time I come back on YouTube, it's like a life update and then I go like disappear for months. That is not my goal. That is not my intention. You guys are going to understand what I'm talking about. Uh, I want this to be an amazing opportunity because it is. So as you can see, I'm in an empty apartment. I'm in an empty apartment and yeah, this is my apartment um, by myself, not with my boyfriend, Pablo. And so I wanted to make a YouTube video about it, just a short one. I am going to try my best to not ramble. I told myself 10 minutes or less. And I still have to include just a mini like empty apartment tour, somewhat empty. Um, but yeah, basically I have moved out on my own. Sorry, let me fix my hair a little bit. Ew. If you have watched my videos before, you would know that I was living with my partner, Pablo, um, my amazing boyfriend. So we decided that we should just live apart before marriage. And this is honestly something that he wanted to do from the very beginning since we did move in together. Um, and I kind of had some healing to do within myself. So it was very hard for me to be open-minded um, for that. I feel like we both want things from life and it's kind of hard to do those things when we are together because we are very comfortable. For example, like if he comes home from work, he won't want to go do his things just because he feels guilty and, you know, wants to spend time with me because I'm there, you know, and vice versa. Um, it's hard for me to focus on things that I want to do, which is social media, YouTube, and um, just kind of expanding my creativity and taking advantage of it. It started to seem like we were getting in each other's way. If you live with a partner or have in the past or are thinking about it, it is very, very hard. It, it Like, even if you are with the person for years and you see them every single day but don't necessarily live together, it is a very big adjustment. So thankfully, I mean, we did adjust. It took a while, it took a long while. Um, but we just both have goals in life that we want to attain. And so we just thought that this would be the best thing for us to do. Like I said, I it was kind of hard for me at first to be understanding of why. And I don't want to go into too much detail because it is just personal, but I feel like Pablo and I are just doing the best we have ever, ever been in our relationship. And I feel like it's perfect. It's perfect for me to take on this opportunity just because I feel secure within myself. And I feel like a long, long, I just never thought that I would be living alone. If you come from like Mexican, Latino culture, I feel like, I mean, I don't know. I would say Mexican culture. I don't know if Latin, I don't know. If you are Mexican, you will understand. I just feel like it's not very common for the girl, like daughters or the girls in the family to move out and live on their own, like on their own, their own apartment. It's typically like, you know, they find a partner, they get married and move out. And then, you know, they go from the parent's house to their partner's house. It's never really like they go live on their own. So <clears throat> it definitely has been an adjustment for my family. It's it's just been kind of difficult for them to really understand and grasp. But the thing for me is um, that I know my family loves me and it's only for, like they just want the best for me basically. My boyfriend Pablo, he is honestly the most amazing man I have ever met in my life and I am so lucky to have him and he is the most supportive person ever like you know I obviously have a job now I if you didn't know like before I did not have a job so he was fully supporting me and I had my role to contribute in the home and you know vice versa but now I do have a job but I do need help still, so he is more than willing to help out with whatever I need help with. 
so um, I really really do appreciate his help for that and because it is hard it's hard because yes like like up until this point un until I moved in I was super like I am super excited I'm excited for what's to come like I'm excited for the next year see what I oh my god it looks like I'm naked but I, I'm not I have a pink romper on but let me just lift it up i'm excited to do things for myself and be able to have my own night routines my morning routines you know relax and unwind for the day and stuff like that i'm really really excited for that but like once it came down to it it was kind of like a shock in a way so he was very um supportive in the way that he wants to make this transition comfortable for me so he's been staying over and just being here almost every other day like i see him at almost every day basically even if it's just for an hour he's like it's not like we're li like living apart in different states like we used to because we have done long distance when he was in the military we did it for four years so i just kind of have to remind myself like this is nothing i'm a 15 minute drive away from his apartment and so we're gonna be fine i'm gonna be fine um like i said it is a little bit hard because it's kind of like a culture shock to my family or would it be called a culture shock i just have a lot of support from my boyfriend and that's all i ever need and um yeah so that's the update maybe i will do more of a story time with him or something like that we're doing great we we are the happiest that we have ever been um we love each other very much and i say that with confidence for myself and i speak for him too because i know he watches my youtube videos um and so yeah i'm very excited for what's to come you guys i'm excited to take you guys on a journey I am challenging, challenging myself to be disciplined on YouTube because this is something that, like, I just always think about YouTube. I'm always like, I need to pick up my camera and make a YouTube video again. So, um, yeah, I want to bring you guys along. I just wanted to show you guys a little empty apartment tour because I have been staying at our old apartment or my old apartment. Um, with Pablo basically like every day because I don't have a couch yet. I don't have a TV So it's kind of hard to get into a routine here because you know I'm not gonna be chilling in bed all day even after I do whatever I have to do for the day work gym Whatever it is like I, I don't want to just be laying in bed all day So Pablo was just like, you know, just come over after you're done with work Because my desk my work desk is here. I do work from home. I just come to work and then I go back home um, to Our other apartment. I feel like this is gonna be so confusing because I still call that my home um, <laughs> But yeah, this is basically my sanctuary i mean it is pablo's as well obviously he's helping me this is his home just as is just as it is mine um but i did make it clear that i want to make this more like layla like this is gonna have layla's touch okay and i told him i'm like you can do whatever you want with that apartment you can make it your little like bachelor pad or whatever <laughs> so we're both very excited for that so i do have you guys propped up on my on my work chair it's super cute but very uncomfortable to be sitting and working from home i do have a cute little balcony yeah i already broke one of the little thingies i didn't break it but i can't put it back in i just don't want to break it the tv is gonna go right here um couch is gonna go right here and there's my work desk i did my makeup the other day so my makeup is all in there i have to sort everything out in there obviously dining is right here is gonna go here i'm thinking about a mirror maybe like a little bar cart even though i don't drink like that <laughs> and then our dogs my babies cooper and charlie basically he drops them off here while i'm working and then he picks them up when he gets home from work and then you know we go back to the other apartment together so that's why there's like little kibble on paper plates and their water bowl my water jug and my kitchen there's no microwave there's a dishwasher though so that's a big plus and these are going to be my 
my things right now, my things, my survival utensils, equipment. This video is already longer than I want it to be. Like I said, I still have some stuff that I have to sort out. My little entryway, which I think is super cute, actually. I think the floor here, I really appreciate. And I wanted to do like a, an entryway table, like a console table, and then a round mirror. You know me, I love decor, so I'm excited to decorate. And my bathroom, I just took a bath. Me in my Aritzia jumpsuit, looking a little bloated because Dot decided to come this month. But um, my big ass water jug, I am obsessed with it. It's an Arctic water jug, guys. I love this. Amazing, it's pink, obviously, and I'm wearing pink, oh my gosh. So cute. Using a trash bag as a trash bin, very classy. And I do have a lot of storage, like a lot here. So a lot of storage in here and my bed. I do have a mattress, I just don't have a bed frame yet or anything um like i said i don't really stay here anyway but you guys look at this wall mirror it's literally a wall mirror at first i didn't like it because i'm like i feel like i'm in the 70s but i thought it was i'm it's growing on me but this is all closet space so i have tons and tons of closet space like look at that A lot of closet space, that's Chirac. And then it goes in there. And then this is basically the whole other half of the closet. I have all my heels down there. I just don't even know what to do with all this space. Like, I need more clothes. This is a perfect excuse to buy more clothing. So yeah, that's basically the deal and the tour. Alrighty guys, I don't wanna keep you guys for too long because I feel like this video already went on for so long, longer than I wanted it to, but I guess I have a good excuse. I'm gonna try to cut it down as much as I can. I have a hair on my mouth. Thank you so much for watching and I'm so excited to bring you guys along this journey and I hope that if you are a recurring subscriber to follow me along on this journey and if you are new thank you so much i would love for you to stick around and i will see you guys later bye